Ready to fly. Yeah! Hey, welcome to, to Maystar's Phone Fires. Me, Mr. Marshall. I got Baylor here, and uh, Baylor's bringing to the table the FT Mini Speedster. Um, and uh, it looks great. Baylor, why don't you talk about your build, man? Um, it took about two or three weeks. Um, the one thing I would recommend if anybody built this was to think ahead. Don't glue the servos in. Um, I had a problem with that, and I had to cut up here to put in the rods. Um, and I also, for some things that I put in, I also put in a rod right here to strengthen the elevator. Nice. And um, I also um, put the bevel on the bottom of the, don't, don't do what I did. <laughs> um, put the bevel of the elevator on the bottom right here. Just um, kind of hides it, makes it look cleaner, huh? Yeah. Other than that, I mean, was uh, was the mini the mini pod pretty easy to work with? And yeah, it was really easy and fast to build. It took nice. about three weeks, and since I'm in jazz, it was only like two or three times a week that I would get to work on it for about thirty minutes. So like an hour and a half ish. To yeah. Hours to really make it nice. Yeah, I mean, he he did some improvements to it just to kind of you know make sure he gets a good flight. He noticed that um, his elevator was a little warped. Uh, could have been because of the paint, or could have been just the foam board. But he did a pretty good little uh, job with the with the rods there, and yeah, I mean, yeah, he glued the servos in without first zeroing them out and stuff, but that's okay. I mean, that's lesson learned. He still was able to get the plane in working order and still able to fly it. And we got some uh, practice footage with it, um, and he did really well with it. And um, brought it back in and did some minor adjustments to it, and was able to take it back up to the skies again. And this next clip shows uh, Baylor tearing it up with at least some eight mile an hour wind. So he did a really good job. Other than that, good job, buddy. Thanks. Cool. Oh, that's so cool. That's not even moving. That's awesome. <laughs>
So you got the um, so the FT Mini is supposed to be uh, this is supposed to be tough, right? I don't see any structural damage on the plane. That was a pretty hard hit. Yeah. No structural damage to the motor, except for maybe you just gotta glue the, these pieces in a little bit better. Broken prop, and that's it. Other than that, you flew awesome, dude. Thanks. Um, the thing that you just need to work on is when you get in that kind of that Bermuda Triangle right here. <laughs> You know, you got to make sure that you don't cut it too hard because you'll lose the air underneath your wings and this thing will just drop out of the sky. Um, other than that, this is a really cool build. Barely did a good job on this. He set himself up for some uh, some fun flying. All I have to do is get a new prop on. Um, with this and with even with, you know, a good 8 to 10 mile an hour with the wind, he still was able to have fun and ride the wind and, yeah. and uh, that was really cool. I almost liked it better with the wind. Right? Yeah, it was easier. Yeah, because right. he's actually had some practice with this before, um, but we flew on a calmer day. It's a lot better with the wind. Yeah. It's very cool. Well, Baylor, good job with this, and uh, look for more from Baylor in the next couple months. And uh, good job like that. Thank you.